Hey guys, welcome back. Kuro here. And today we're going to take a first glimpse into Ultimate Zombie Defense. Basically, it's as it says, you are defending locations against from zombie hordes. There are multiple types of zombie hordes that you actually have to defend against, which increases the difficulty of the game. And from what I played of it, from what I looked at, it's actually a pretty fun game. Um, you actually end up having skill trees, skills, and up weapon upgrade, weapon purchasing, um, base building, kind of, um, defense building, for sure. Um, other than that, there's a lot of good aspects so far in this game. Um, it is a online game also, so you can play with others, or you can go browse servers, see which one's open, and join in if there's any available. Or you can host your own game. For also, you can play solo offline. And like I said, there are skill trees, so let's go ahead and pull that up. Now, the skill trees that are shown right here. Um, you have Heavy, Medic, Specialist, and Engineer. Each category has their own perks towards your gameplay and what you want it steered towards. For example, Heavy is, for example, 10% more ammo per, per magazine. So, that's just the starting out one that you throw start with. And then, like I said, you also have Medic, which is provides new buildings to, to the player that will heal all the players within close proximity or specialists start with sniper rifle or engineer increase building health by 10 percent and as you can see here each one of these has different skill trees and whatnot on it and as you play each class you have your experience points right there which you can level up your character with so for example this guy has extra damage towards bosses. This one, heavy armor, takes more damage. Faster reloading, bigger boom, so larger explosive explosion range. Automatic reloading and berserk pretty much um, takes or deals more damage. Now you also have your medic once again. After killing boss, gain 10% more health or 10 more health. Faster reloading, apple day 25% more health, and provides the player with invulnerability for three seconds. Or in this one, you also get your uh, just in case more ammo, more armor, so on and so forth. Specialist, you get your start shoot. Start with a sniper. Um, looks like here. Flamethrowers are 50% stronger, or you can go with more explosion damage. You're able to run faster, better accuracy, better penetration, meaning you can shoot through zombies. Zombies give you more money and more damage. And then you have your engineer. These are the ones that uh, increase the building resistance make them stronger shock they obviously here shows the shotguns are able to uh, put auto sentries down turrets do more damage so on and so forth with the defenses so cheaper buildings cheaper to repair a droid will follow the player and shoot all nearby enemies so you get actually a a pet with that one so of the four my favorites that I want to gear towards is engineer or medic um, don't get me wrong each one has their own perks in regards to what you need should use them for and what you like I said gear towards your gameplay so that's that now like I said this is can be an online game obviously you see here there's 24 players online you, like I said you can host your game and anybody can join you can invite your friends the game is based off of wave format so 
zombies come at you in one wave, more and more zombies come in each additional wave after. Eventually you run into boss battles where you actually have to focus on what you want to do on that fight. And playing solo is not a easy task. Um, it is preferable to play with other people so you can have additional funds, people can do set up specific things like one person focuses on defense, one person focuses on uh, sentries or gun turrets, another person focuses on ha setting up ammunition stashes and so on and so forth. So you actually get have a little strategy with more people you play with. So other than that, let's go ahead and jump on solo play and so we can take a look. So here, you, it just basically shows the typical um, lobby, pretty much. Here you can choose the map you want to play at, the difficulty it's going to be on, who all is in your lobby. Um, you can select character, select tree from here, I believe. Nope. And then you can select your character. So here you have your heavies, your medics, your specialists, and then your engineers. I'll go with Maria. Because like I said, I like to play an engineer. So that's where you select your j job profession. Um, so each level is pretty much similar, but there's different aspects in regards to what you have to deal with on each level but for starters I'll go ahead and start with the bridge just basic start up first thing you come to in the game and first thing you run across so let's go ahead and start with the bridge it's on easy I'm like I said the engineer and let's ready up I'm ready here more people in the group like I said you have to wait until they click off on it and say they're good and then let's go ahead and start the game so you start the game you start out with fighting a group of walkers they're not really much of a threat but there's a decent amount of them and all you really start with on the game is a pistol see So like I said, it's the goal of the game, like I said, is try to kill as all the zombies you can without dying. The more zombies you kill, the more money you get in the bottom left. So when I kill this little dude here, I get should get about a hundred and or I'm sorry, seventy five. Yep, see $75 per kill. So you, there are some items in the game you start out with is like laser. Should help with accuracy. You get a flashlight. And other things. You do not start out with armor. And like I said, you have your waves up here. Wave 1. Clear the area, your objective, clear the area of infected. You have your boundaries here, you can't go past it. So, that's all it is. You got your typical walking, or you can sprint like this. Now, you cannot sprint backwards, so whichever direction you are in, you have to angle it to sprint in that direction. So, if you're surrounded and want to get away, you have to face away from them. In ordered sprint so that's part of the uh, added difficulty all right so now that this wave is over let's just go ahead and kill this guy and we can go into the next part of the game Victory. all right so we got three minutes here in the top left to go over some things on the game um, you can press enter skip to the next stage press B to go to building or press P 
to go to the store. You can buy new weapons here. You got sniper rifle, Uzi, shotgun, DMR, SCAR, LMG, and auto shotgun. Or your specialty items. You get minigun, grenade launcher, RPG, and flamethrower, pistols. You got your pistol and Desert Eagle. Obviously, the damage with the Desert Eagle is significantly better than the pistol, but I like starting with the pistol. Go ahead and hit upgrade and bump it all the way up. And guess what? It is one less than a Desert Eagle for all those repair or upgrades. Granted, it's a little bit more expensive, but you have more ammo, you have reload speed is faster and shots per second is faster than the Desert Eagle. And then you also have your equipment. You got your flashlight, laser, night vision, all that. So that's the equipment. You press N for night vision. You got build mode here. In the bottom here you have your list of uh, items you can build. You got your Terminator Tower, Tesla Tower, Laser Fence, Sentry, Gun Turrets, Ammo Boxes, Floodlights, Electric Chain Link Fences, um, Explosive Barrels, Landmines, Hesco Barriers, Gates, um, con Concrete Barriers, Reinforced Chain Link Fences, Spike Barricades, chain link fence, wooden spikes, and barbed wire. Now as you can see here, it says on the bottom of each selection you can actually only have a certain amount of each one. So for example this one you can only build 50 of them, 250 landmines, 80 HESCO barriers, 30 lights, ammo boxes you can only place 15 of those, um, gun turrets 10, 12 centuries laser fences 20 and then like Tesla towers and terminator towers are 6 and 1 and then like the rest of them you got 500 of these walls you can drop down and it looks like I am starting the next battle so here comes the zombies. Oh, look, we got some runners. So let's go ahead and get those down. Get a couple of these out of the way. And we got two left. They are the slow walkers. So let's go ahead and go around and take a look at the map. You got your little hot dog stand near you dirty there. You got your benches going on down. Sidewalk there. Load real quick, and then you got your southern location, and then you got a little garden here. You got your strut there. You got a nice little car fire here. This guy is taking forever to walk over here. Some more gardening over here. Looks like you got a police car right over there. Oh, hey, look, you can actually shoot the vehicles over there. That's cool. I didn't know that. Pew, 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 pew. So obviously you can see your guy's aim is terrible. You see where the red line is and you are just shooting like you're praying and spraying everywhere. So don't count on shooting where you're aiming for the most part. I'm surprised I didn't even hit that guy over there just randomly shooting. But so you got that also. If you look real close, your weapon when you upgrade them actually changes color, so it's a little bit different. Now, the reason why I came to the north and south is down here on the south and the north you do get attacked from both directions and it is basically gets to the point where you have to defend both sides Victory. let's go ahead and get rid of that guy 
So what does that mean? When you go into building mode, scroll down here, you should end up building a couple walls down here too. Not only on the bottom, but also at the top of your map. And then you have to put your sentries on both sides. So that will allow you to be able to defend both sides and guards to being prevent being attacked. But since I'm going to go ahead and do this, let's go ahead and take this down here. Let's see, we do barbed wire, steel fencing, construction with sharp edges, which makes it hard to traverse. Or wood spikes. A row of wooden spikes that will stick to anything trying to get past. Mm. So, spike barricade. A sturdy wooden fortification with spikes to deter personnel from trying to cross. So what I'm trying to do right now is I'm going to save up for centuries. The reason I'm going to save up for centuries is because they can aim on their own and kill things. And you don't have to guide them. Alright, we're going to start the next mission. We're, I believe every five waves is a boss battle kill the zombies there are special infected in this one let's see what the special infected is this guy here looks like he has a big old axe he has a beard he looks like he's mean mugging me he looks ugly as all get out and he's a little bit faster than the other zombies so let's what he does all right big guy explodes all right. <clears throat> so yeah, this game here is just, like I said, waves upon waves upon waves of zombies. Your objective is to stop them, prevent them from killing you. The game is focused solely around that. Now, I'll go ahead and say during missions, you can't build, you can't purchase anything. Your w main weapons, not your sidearm here, but your main weapons, will have am ammo so you have to have ammo boxes in the map to reload so if you run out of ammo you are done you, you can't use it. you have to drop it to down to your good old-fashioned shooter here your pistol so you gotta look out for that now in between each wave you get three minutes of planning or building planning or whatever you want to call it so you get to play around a little bit with what you want to do and hopefully you can get it done within the three minutes it's best to plan beforehand if you want to play on a map go ahead and try it out before you jump on so overall the difficulty of the game does shoot up the more you pl the longer you play like unfortunately this guy right here ooh fancy can I turn off my light? Because that's that that's blinding. I wonder if I can turn my light off. There we go. Yeah. So you can see how they get the certain ones attack. It, it's not very difficult to see how you can invade most of these walkers. But these are the easiest of the zombies you'll run into. Like I said, you just saw me blow up this one thing earlier. So you got you got these big baddies around. And the objective of the game is definitely not to try to get hit. Oh no, I got hit. So, once you're done playing around like this, the fire here just looks, I have no words for this fire here, under night vision, it is definitely not appropriate for whoever that vehicle is there seeing how it looks my goodness just go away fire 
Anywho. Um, as you can see in the game, it is pretty dark. It, you don't have your flashlight. Or night vision goggles. Um, you are able to put down some of those fancy little spotlights. Or, depending on what kind of defenses you have, you can actually have a little bit of lighting from that too. So let's go ahead and get rid of this zombie and continue to the next zone. Or next wave. So let's take a look at this. So we got 2800 right here. Now, I can go ahead and buy armor. Adds basically an extra 100 health points to you. Or you can just go here and check out the weapons. I'm going to probably save up for the scar. Or the LMG. Hmm. But yeah, you can look around, figure out what kind of weapon you want. I mean... I don't understand how this person just whipping them around like that with just one hand, certain weapons, like the LMG or why the... Well, I'll just get to that one later. Um, once again, you also have your special weapons here. Um, I have yet to play with these a little bit, so I've just been focusing on the primary weapons, what I want, what I want to play with, try and everything. Um, overall, I like the LMG. Don't get me wrong, the pump auto shotgun might be nice, but I'm a fan of the LMG so far. Alright, so, we have one minute till next wave. Let's look at our build area, see what we can work with. So, I know I am going to be assaulted here in a couple waves. So the goal or plan is to just throw down something down here to act as an obstacle. So bam, just that. That will give me a little bit of time to deal with something, whatever comes that way. This will just slow them down temporarily. It's nothing real fancy, real big that will stop anything from coming down there. It is the most basic of the basic barricades. It's just to delay and slow down whatever's around me. Alright, so there are a few key functions on here. You press T to talk into your chat room. So, you press L for your laser. F for your flashlight. N for night vision. And then you got your B for building and P for wherever the uh, store is. Oh man, we got a lot of runners. Alright, you all go. I don't like you all. Alright, you got a lot of fast walkers now. Get rid of those guys. Alright, got a bunch of slow walkers. And as you kill more people, as you see here in the bottom left, my money is going up. I'm a big old fan of that. I like having a lot more money on the game. It means I get to have more fun. I get to build more stuff. I get to do whatever I want temporarily. That is until I run out of funds. And then you have your health and your armor. Looks like we already took care of this wave, so let's go to the next Victory. one. All right. Am I able to buy? Nope, not yet. Next wave. All right, next wave. So the faster you kill, you get this little sweet slow down kill cam. It lets you be able to get a slow mo kills and all that good stuff. Alright. 
I got seven eight hundred seven thousand eight hundred ninety one seven thousand nine hundred sixty six sorry one thousand added to that so I'm at nine thousand forty two so let's go ahead I've tried the LMG like I said I love it you have your hundred round magazine you have range 50 meters you have 1400 damage shots per second 6.7 but let's try the auto shotgun I want to try it. it's the most expensive weapon on the game or your main weapon that is it requires twenty six thousand dollars to upgrade it just one level here guys just one level magazine size ups a little bit oh my goodness I might regret this all right now let's go to build menu since it does not hold that much ammo let's add an ammo box to the map once again the ammo boxes here is where you go to it and reload your ammo but I do have an obscene amount of shotgun shells on hand now don't get me wrong four, I like having 480 rounds but 480 shotgun shells oh my goodness this person's like a beast carrying all that extra weight so let's go ahead and go to the next video you hear that that is the boss fight coming up all right let's lay waste to the boss with the shotgun Boom! Yeah. Okay, that boss battle was extremely fast. The reload speed of the shotgun is extremely slow. And you saw how those dogs came up here. That's why I was hoping this fence down here provided some defense, but obviously it didn't do anything. Oh my god, I wasted that money for nothing. But. I do get to show you something else before we finish up the video here. Like I said, we can do sentries now. Let's put this right here. And we got enough money for some HESCO. Boop and boop. There we go. So our plan is to finish this wall off while defending that. So let's go ahead and go to the next round. I'm probably going to regret this shotgun, but let's... And that is what a sentry does. I love the sentries. They're amazing. Granted, you do have two. I believe. Nope. Thought you would have to repair it every time. Guess not. So let's finish off this wall over here. Let's do that right there. Add two more to that side. And then add that there. I hate being OCD sometimes in regards to that. Military gate there and there. Alright, so we got our frontal defenses somewhat set up. And we can use the gates. Go through it. That's pretty cool there. I like that. Alright. And we shall do one more way before we call an end to this. So let's go ahead and get on into it. We got 48 zombies alive. Let's stand here by.
All right, and as you saw between each stage, you do get healed, so I do like that. All right, so as you see, I did receive a little bit of damage for on these things. So, oof, three grand to repair that. Oof, that was expensive. And what happened was it was a suicide bomber zombie. As you see though, you gotta use what you got you can on this. It gets pretty hectic real quick. Alright, last fight, and then we'll take it from there. <laughs> That was fun. That was satisfying. And all we had is just one damaged gate there. And then we can add another sentry here, another sentry there, start crossfires there with the sentries defending more. But overall, that's all you can do with that. Alright. Next one, let's go ahead and end this video with that. Show you what happens when you die. If I can. Come to me, my family. Come to me. Oh, no. So, here's the uh, game over screen. Shows you how much you level up. Shows you cash you earned in kills and all that. And it throws you straight into the uh, main menu. Alright guys, if you liked the video, if you want to see more of it or see more new games coming out, just like and share, um, subscribe, share. Also, I do enjoyed the game. I want to see what's going on, but I will go ahead and tell you right now, do not even hope to get the high score. Obviously, I will not say anything in regards to it, but, the, you know, it seems like a certain something going on there, so... Let's see what expert is in regards to that. But yeah, like I said, there's a little something going on. I'm not going to call names or say anything in regards to that. But if you want to get on the scoreboard, you have opportunities to do that. It's fun. Yeah, that's... that's. I'm not going to say anything in regards to that. I'm just going back on out. But you do actually see right here the number of waves you can get to on the game. It's not, it doesn't seem too difficult to be get on to the top 50 on the scoreboard but yeah that that just doesn't seem fair in my opinion other than that i do like thank you for coming and seeing me show this game y'all have a good evening and take care see you next time